All right, people, here is the deck profile for Pendulum Magicians. I apologize that it is late the day that you are watching this, if you're watching it the day that it's going up. Uh, I got busy. I got busy. I uh, had to go out real quick when I was going to go ahead and record and upload it to go along with everything else. Uh, I'll talk about that tomorrow. I'll talk about that in tomorrow's Daily Duels Wednesday. But for now, I got to get you guys the Pendulum Magician deck because it's off of Daily Duels now. Of course, you already got your uh, your Blue Eyes uh, duel, which is now its tag deck. So here we go, Pendulum Magicians. So as you can clearly see, it's a little bit different because there's particular things I like and don't like. For one thing, and you know you can see it, I don't like the synchros. I just... I don't know. I don't know. I just don't feel like I really like it. I'm running that one monster to pull off some synchros. I really didn't feel like I was worth the Meteor Dragon. I wanted to do more C plays. I wanted to bust out more lockdown plays. And I just felt like, eh, I, I just really wasn't a big fan of that synchro girl and the synchro monsters in general. So, if you want to crucify me about that, there you go. But, uh, yeah, this entire time that you've been seeing uh, it on Daily Duels and the wins and the lockdowns, and the, there was never that tuner bitch and there was never any synchro monsters in extra deck. Anyway, uh, standard Dragon Pit. Oh, Skull Crobat, Wisdom Eye. These are the, the, the engine. These are the staple. You run these. These are the 12 that you run, obviously. You know, you really don't have to run that, le that level, that Pendulum Scale 1 Grill. I mean, you could probably run her because she's an Earth level 4, so you can go ahead and uh, use her to make Beast, Mature Beast, competitive standpoint wise. You can do that. But uh, yeah, these are the guys. Uh, and then I decided to go ahead and run him because I wanted to do more rank 7 plays. And also, it is another uh, lower scale. Generally, when I try to, uh, you know, Create my decks. I like to have my scales even or close to even. He's another scale that was a seven. I mean, a lower scale, so I can go ahead and pendulum summon off the lower monsters. And he was another seven so, and a 25 beater, so screw it. Level seven, 25 beater, let's go. You know, you're just as great as uh, Auto Ice as being a beater. But he's generally what, the plays that I did. I didn't really overextend or do much of that. It was just pretty much just drop my beaters, drop my unicorn, drop my Apex Avion, set some back row, and beat the shit out of you. And that's exactly how it went down. So uh, I kind of liked him. He put in that work. Uh, of course, Unicorn, obviously, uh, as you're running this, this is this this should also be part of this engine. Because not only is it another two scale, so if you need to put in your Pendulum scale, there's no restrictions. Putting your Pendulum scale is just two, but also you will love the Pendulum Summon it, and it's like a Pleiades that can't be targeted and destroyed by card effects. Like, they're so good. And it's only 2,000, but still, an awesome Unicorn put in at work. In plenty of duels. Uh, Odd Eyes, uh, like I said, uh, I'm... If I would ever get back into Yu-Gi-Oh, like get back into competitive play, uh, and like I said, it all comes down to the ban list. Uh, I would make Pendulum Magic Specters. Pendulum Magic Specters. I actually was, uh, when I was busy during this time, uh, that uh, you didn't get this video, I was actually helping someone work on a, on a Pendulum, Pendulum Magic Specter deck. And they were running also the, the Perform Age engine, and it was really tight on space. Uh, like I said, it, it comes down to what the ban list is, but, you know, I would definitely run 3 him, 3 him. If he's still at 3, 3 him, 3 him, uh, 3 him, 3 him, and then, you know, instead of running him or running the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, that would be the Magic Specter shit, you know. The, the, the bunk of, the, 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 the raccoon. Search for Unicorn, search for my, uh, my Fox. Fox and get me a trap card, level 4, you know. Uh, I'm not sure about the frog. I'm not sure, you know. Because the frog is, of course, another level 4. So I guess you could run the frog to help you with the consistency of getting your Tempest. Like, Tempest plus warning is just fuck you, you know. So, uh, yeah. But definitely 3 uh, Unicorn, 3 Apex Avion. Just lock them out. Then, my favorite card in this deck, of course, Odd Eyes Unicorn. So, at first I was running him at 3, then I was like, no, no, I don't need him any 2, and then he's down to 1. And the reason why he's down to 1 is because generally I can go ahead and search this out quicker and better. But, sometimes when I use my field spell in Skyrus, I don't want an Odd Eyes this. I want, I want Odd Eyes Unicorn. I want Unicorn. Because Unicorn is another 8 with really no restrictions, and, you know, this is another level 7. And, you know, I like to do the Xe plays level 7, so if, if, if I can play him and the Xe with him, I mean, it's better than playing, you know, playing him and then doing nothing with him, right? So, uh, and also, I mean, look at him. Look at him. He's adorable. I love it. I love Odd Eyes Unicorn. Not a brony, but that, that is, that's an awesome picture. I like that. So, yeah. So, 25 monsters. Regeki, duh. Uh, three Odd Fusion, like I said, with the, with no synchroing, I wanted to make sure, especially when it comes to my attack partner, I wanted to make sure that I had the most consistent method of getting Odd Eyes Fusion. And while I didn't really like doing self space plays films as much, uh, I loved to get an Odd Eyes Fusion and just being like, bah, Odd Eyes Fusion. Uh, because, you know, it's a wonderful one, where they say I gotta, like, make sure I destroy something, and then this has to go off, and that. But I didn't really feel like I could need much of the field spell, especially since I wasn't a big fan of searching a lot of ice. Like, I would search out some unicorns at the time, I would generally search out ice fusion, but I really don't like the, the feeling of searching out, out ice pendant I don't know, maybe I just don't like them. <laughs> maybe that's just me, but he's there, he's there, of course, it's, you know, it's a pendant magician deck, so all that's there, but yeah. So, to Skyrus, 
He's, it's, a, it's a good stealth spell. It um, protects my, my stuff from my zones being targeted, and I get to go ahead and pop and search, so it's not bad. Of course, three pendulum call, like three, 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 like three, like, oh, yeah. Uh, if I were to remember to make this deck, yep, I'd go, and, and you're like, oh, this is pretty expensive. I got the money. It's just, I don't want I don't, I don't feel like dishing it out. I have the money. It's just, I don't feel like doing that, so. But, yeah, three pendulum call. This card is ridiculous at three. Yeah, and then uh, my trap cards. Uh, this of course can be switched out for like you know three water cords and three twin twisters or MSTs. So vanity's warning, bottomless. Uh, bottomless wasn't in here before. It was actually another unicorn, but I was like, fuck it. You know, I don't want. I don't need two unicorns. Just put a bottomless. And then of course the triple strike because yay trike, trike. I said trike. Yay trike. Three of them. It's a trike. A strike. A strike. A strike cycle right there. Anyway. Uh, of course, uh, Vortex, I, I had a lot of space in the extra deck, so I was like, screw it, you know, I want to make sure that I always have them in here. Generally, you'd only put, like, maybe two, maybe one, but I was like, screw it, I have a lot of room. I never pulled this off, even though I thought it would be cool if I ever did, you know, the odd ice uh, pendulum dragon plus a spellcaster, a lot of them here, so I was wondering if I could pull it off and then just get that damage in, but I never did. Uh, rebellion to Rebellion to Absolute, I think that's generally the ratio that you run of these two, especially when you're going to head and use the odd ice fusion. If you're not running an ice fusion, you know, uh, then... Uh, Master Blades, he's there. Never made him. Flare, never made him. Or exactly, never made him. I think I made Big Eye at least once, so that's why there's two. Because just in case, I Big Eye you once, and you think, oh, okay, well, I'll kill that Big Eye. That Big Eye's gone. And I Big Eye you again. You're like, oh, fuck. So, uh, then Illusion, just in case I did that play. Just in case I wanted to attack and ban or something. And then there's a, and then there's a couple fours, so I guess. You know, Castell for the toolbox, why not? So, yeah, there you go. Pendulum Magician. It's not the best. I don't care if you guys think it's the worst. I had fun with it. It was a fine tag deck. I'm glad that you guys chose it for this past month. It was enjoyable. It, it was enjoyable. So, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this deck profile. Uh, I'll be back later with some more deck profiles. We've got a couple more. A couple more. Like I said, some decks did, some decks went. But, you know, as the lineup progresses and changes, I will be giving the farewell deck profile to these decks. And there might be a chance that they'll be on the poll from February to March. So, if you want them back for another month, then there you go. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and yeah.